Hi everybody, welcome along to the Pyramids of Chi. Uh, we're going to be doing a bit of an introduction today on just what's going to happen to you in the pyramids. People have different reactions in pyramids because of the energy that it gives off, because of the energy from these beautiful gongs. So we like to give you a bit of uh, history as well on the pyramids. Much of what you might know about pyramids is actually probably quite a myth. So we give you a bit of background on pyramids and, and what there is to need to know about them. Also what we're going to cover is a little bit about the reaction that your body can have to the actual results from these beautiful instruments. So where to start from? Pyramids. Never found any tombs in any ancient pyramids yet, but what we have found is that all the pyramids around the globe, and they're virtually on every continent, they're on every ocean, under every ocean. In fact, we had a guy here just recently that uh, dived on the pyramids in the Sea of Japan. Uh, so they're under, uh, under the oceans, on the land. Uh, we're finding them in places like Bermuda Triangle, 300 meters down, where the top cap glows in the dark. They found one on the next island in Java, just beyond here, only two years ago. And China, South America, you name it, they're finding them all over the globe. So what makes them exciting is the fact that they're all there for a reason. Any thoughts we might have that they were built for tombs, please forget about that, because they've never found a tomb in an ancient pyramid yet. The only tombs I've ever found in any pyramids in a place called the Sudan. So given the fact that pyramids were virtually built, hopefully for what we believe is um, energy devices, for attracting energy from above, drawing it up from below, and they virtually carried or conducted the energy. So, what else do we know about pyramids? They're all built virtually the same way. All the ancient pyramids are built with an angle of about 52 degrees at the base. They all are aligned exactly true north and they're built using a certain process of building. In our history, as is the case in, in pretty well anything right back to the Dark Ages, everybody, everything that we knew was built was built brick on brick, stone on stone, block on block, and literally the whole purpose of the buildings were with cement and mortar in between them to stop anything falling down. So what we're saying virtually is that these pyramids were built with these massive stone blocks from half a ton right through to 100 tons. They were moved from mountains up to 500 kilometers away, across rivers, across deserts, everything else. And then on top of that, they were lifted up to 200 meters in height in order to be able to be locked into place. And what's exciting about this is when they built them, these blocks could have been long, they could have been short, they could have been square, they could have had angles on them, they could have cutouts. No matter what happened, these blocks, when they're put together, would lock in together. Totally immovable. These two pyramids you see here, they're built to the same, what we call, sacred geometry formula. They have that 52 degrees of angle at the base. They're aligned exactly true north, right? And they're made in such a fashion that, yes, they're pretty well indestructible to most things. So. Given the fact that we have this beautiful power coming off the pyramids or in the pyramids, uh, we had a young guy here just recently flying uh, a drone around taking some aerial footage for us. Um, we tried to warn him and suggest that you may not want to fly between the two pyramids because there's already a shield, a force field of energy that exists between both these pyramids. He, typically young guy, didn't want to hear this and sure enough he tried to fly his is drone between the two pyramids and wouldn't you believe it beep 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 he loses signal it crashes over into the grass over the back there so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be combining the power of these pyramids with these beautiful instruments here beautiful gongs in here today, right? They all contribute in the most beautiful ways with their own energies. These sounds, when we play them, bounce off the walls of the pyramids down 
signal to your body. And in doing so, right, your body reacts. up of over 70% water. Sound moves four times faster through water than it does through the air. So when these sounds are working up through your body, they're working up through your chakra center, and what happens is you can have a reaction because your chakra centers are energy centers and they respond. They respond to those frequencies. Your chakras otherwise uh, no, known as wheels in the Sanskrit language. We have seven key chakra centers in our body. They start off at the base, they work right through to the crown. If we take one in particular, say the heart chakra. Right? The heart chakra holds all our emotions. It holds lots of emotions. It holds laughter, it holds fears, it holds tears, it holds everything. So, in the event that maybe you're hanging on to a whole lot of uh, unfortunate things that may have happened in your life, a loss or uh, maybe a bad divorce, maybe something that made you very angry. Whatever it might be, you could be holding on to something quite, uh, quite unnecessary. So when these sounds move across your chakras and imagine them like spinning wheels, right, going like that, say this is your heart chakra, spinning wheels, as it's moving across that, the wheel could have a little bit of an angle to it, a little bit of a, a wobble to it, purely and simply because it's holding on to those heavy emotions. You want to get rid of those emotions. So when it moves across there, it realigns, it rebalances, it harmonizes them. And in so doing, it makes it spin normally again. Okay? When that happens, that's when you can have quite a reaction. You can have uh, a typical reaction of releasing emotions being tears. Tears that might flow quite freely. Tears that might have you wondering what's going on here. But if it does happen, just let it flow. Because what that is, it's a beautiful symptom of sound healing. And that's what this place was created for. That's what these pyramids are all about. It's about introducing sound healing to you. All right? Now, whether you experience sound healing, or whether you just go into a beautiful state of deep relaxation, it matters not. These sounds relax everything. Your nervous system, your chakras, your cells in your body, everything helps to relax. So in doing so, you might also reach that beautiful state of theta. Theta is something like, uh, if you have around 30 minutes of theta, it's equivalent to up to four hours of normal sleep. Quite amazing. And we've all experienced theta. We might be in an aircraft nodding off. We could be watching television. It's before we get down to that dreaming or snoring state, it's when we're in a position of feeling super relaxed. So hopefully, you may get your sound healing experience or maybe you get that beautiful, deep, relaxed state. Whatever happened, it's meant to happen today because that's what this place was created for. It was never designed for anything else. We had a vision, we had a vision many years ago, something like four years ago, and we were told in a meditation to build two pyramids. Why? 
we needed to create something that could work purely and simply for sound healing. It's not for yoga, it's not for anything else, it's for purely sound healing. And so that's what we're here today. Hopefully you receive one of those gifts and in doing so, just say thank you because you've received something quite special. So thank you for joining us today. We're going to head down to the pyramids shortly and when you get in the pyramids, just go and lay down on one of these beautiful, big, comfortable mattresses, pillow under your, uh, under your head, the eye pillow over your eyes and your feet, o your legs over the bolsters. Relax and let us do the rest for you because with these sounds you're going to go into such a magical relaxed state. When you come out you can be walking a bit like that but it will make a difference. So thank you, we'll see you in the pyramid shortly.